So what are fuel cells? Fuel cells are electrochemical cell that uses fuel in the form of hydrogen, um, if it's hydrogen oxygen fuel cell and oxygen that comes from air to produce electrical energy. So a fuel cell is an electrical cell and it's supplied with fuel and oxygen and there is a reaction between the fuel or the hydrogen in this case if it's hydrogen and oxygen that will give energy. The energy here is not heat like the normal burning of fuel but it's going to be electrical energy. When the fuel enters the cell, it will become oxidized and it will set up a potential difference within the cell. This is why there will be an electrical uh, energy that will go through the cell. So hydrogen oxygen fuel cell is an example of the fuel cell. In hydrogen oxygen fuel cell, the hydrogen and oxygen will combine together to give water and electrical energy. So hydrogen plus water plus oxygen will give you water. Here um, we can use this in vehicle and it's really a clean source of um, uh, a clean source of energy because um, the only waste product that is produced here is uh, water. Uh, the waste product is water. You don't have any carbon dioxide or any of the other greenhouse gases. So it's a clean source and we can use the hydrogen in motors or in cars. So let's have a look at the hydrogen oxygen fuel cell to and um, try to understand what happens and how the electricity is generated or how the electric energy is generated which leads to the, um, the motor uh, movement. So in this um, the cell consists of two electrodes and then the two electrodes are connected via this um, uh, wire uh, to uh, the motor and then the electrodes we have two electrodes we have a graphite negatively charged electrode and a graphite positively charged electrodes um, the electrodes are made of uh, graphite because we know that graphite can conduct electricity so the electric current can flow through the whole circuit and then we have an electrolyte and the electrolyte here is usually potassium hydroxide solution of potassium hydroxide. Potassium hydroxide acts as a source of hydroxide ion which is going to play a role in the whole reaction or the electrochemical reaction. So on the left hand side near the negatively charged electrode hydrogen would be supplied hydrogen will enter through the graphite negatively and next to graphite negatively charged electrode and it will diffuse through this electrode hydrogen will be oxidized and it will give hydrogen ions the hydrogen ions uh, will react with the hydroxide ions to give water so the reaction, the overall reaction is that hydrogen and uh, hydroxide will give you water and they will lose four electrons. So this is an oxidation for the hydrogen. The water formed can then diffuse back through the graphite um, electrode and it will be eliminated. And then oxygen will um, then go um, through, uh, next to the uh, positively charged electrode. It will be supplied through the uh, positively charged electrode. And the oxygen will diffuse through the graphite positively charged electrode. Oxygen will then react with water and it will be reduced and will give back hydroxide ions. So it's a regeneration of the hydroxide ions. The electrons that have been generated will move through the circuit here, as we can see, from the negatively charged electrode into the motor here where the uh, motor, this is the source, the electrons that are generated and go through the motors are the source of the electric uh, energy that will keep the motor going. And then the, they will move uh, also towards the positively charged electrode. So the uh, electricity will move through the whole circuit. The overall reaction for the reaction uh, for the electrochemical reaction uh, for the hydrogen oxygen fuel cell can be represented by this equation. So if you combine these two equations, which each uh, represents a half cell equation, you can find that two hydrogens here um, will react with one oxygen 
to give two water because the four electrons on both sides will cancel each other out. And here we have um, uh, four uh, water, four molecules of water and two molecules of water here. So the overall product is two molecules of water. While the hydroxide ions, there are four on both sides, so they will cancel each other out as well. So this is the overall equation, chemical equation 